five, four, together. Three, two, one. Ignition. There we go. You see some white boards falling off. Is that considered normal? That's yeah, yeah, yes. Protection. That keeps the temperature. Shield, yeah. right? Insulation. Yeah. Power is clear. All right, we're going to see a number of critical stages throughout the flight. We're going to be walking you through each and every one of them, well, that's starting the moon. with the pitch over. That's the moon shot. Very shot. soon. Yes. <laughs> So this, this is the camera view. mounted on the carrier rocket. Mm -hmm. View of the side boosters. Yeah. If everything goes right momentarily, we're going to see the jettison of the escape tower, right? No, yeah. yes. About 120 seconds. Mm -hmm. So that's the first critical movement we're yeah, going to see. Exactly. This is the infrared view of the rocket. Yes. Everything is going well. The Tychonauts look uh, fine to me. They are experiencing the G-forces now. Mm -hmm. How many G-forces are they enduring uh, I mean, now? Uh, the maximum is uh, during the separation of the first stage, uh, okay. about 3 to 5 G. Mm -hmm. All right. So this, is, this tends to be a period where they can experience discomfort yeah, yeah. Um, in the flight. Yeah. As you mentioned, uh, the G-forces are together with the vibration. Mm -hmm. The movement what we call a pogo, which is up and down movement, you know, yeah. faster and slow, mm -hmm. faster and slow, like mm -hmm. up and down. So, so that, that is, pogo is very uncomfortable. Yeah. That is because we use the liquid propellant system. Right. We're about 90 seconds into the flight. Okay. Once again, you're seeing the bright flame of the side so boosters, up first stage rocket. So mm -hmm. the emergency escape tower will be just in the soon. Yeah. It has already completed the pitch over, right? Yeah. 